The ground is shifting beneath the cable industry. For years, cable companies like Comcast Corp and Charter Communications Inc. enjoyed a comfortable dominance in the broadband market. They connected millions of homes and businesses, reaping substantial profits. But the tide is turning. These giants are now facing an unprecedented challenge, a steady exodus of broadband subscribers. The numbers paint a stark picture. Millions of Americans are disconnecting from cable internet, opting for alternatives, or forgoing broadband altogether. This decline signals a significant shift in consumer behavior and raises a crucial question. What's driving this mass exodus from cable's once unshakable domain? This isn't just about changing preferences, it's about a fundamental shift in the balance of power. As more consumers explore alternative options, cable companies are grappling with an unsettling reality. Their grip on the internet service market is loosening. The implications of this trend are far-reaching, potentially impacting everything from content creation to digital equity. What are your thoughts on the decline of cable broadband subscribers? The COVID-19 pandemic brought about unprecedented challenges affecting every aspect of our lives. From the way we work to how we socialize, the world was forced to adapt rapidly. In response to these challenges, an era of government assistance programs was ushered in, designed to keep Americans connected and ensure that no one was left behind in this digital age. Among these initiatives were subsidies aimed at ensuring affordable internet access for all, providing a crucial lifeline for remote work, education, and social interaction. These subsidies were particularly vital for students attending online classes and employees participating in virtual meetings, making it possible to maintain some semblance of normalcy. However, while these subsidies were well-intentioned, they inadvertently masked a growing problem within the cable industry, creating a temporary solution without addressing the underlying issues. With government funds flowing, many cable companies saw an influx of new subscribers, which on the surface appeared to be a positive development. Yet, even as new subscribers joined, the traditional customer base began to dwindle, revealing a deeper, more concerning trend. This artificial inflation of subscriber numbers created a misleading picture of the industry's health, making it seem more robust than it actually was. The subsidies concealed the underlying factors driving customers away, such as high costs, poor service quality, and the availability of alternative internet services. Now, as these subsidies expire, the true cost of cable internet is resurfacing, and many customers are beginning to feel the financial strain. With the expiration of these government lifelines, many customers are balking at the high prices and are reconsidering their options, leading to a wave of cancellations. The end of these subsidies has exposed the fragility of the cable industry's hold on the broadband market, revealing a significant decline in customer satisfaction. This situation has brought to light a deeper issue at play, a growing dissatisfaction with the value proposition offered by cable companies as customers feel they are not getting their money's worth. Did government subsidies mask the true state of the broadband market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and take our survey below. Your feedback is crucial in understanding the broader impact of these subsidies and the future of internet services. While cable companies enjoyed their reign, a formidable competitor was quietly building momentum phone companies. These companies, initially known for their voice services, began to see the potential in expanding their offerings. They started investing heavily in infrastructure, laying the groundwork for a future where they could challenge the cable giants. Armed with their vast wireless networks, these companies began offering an increasingly viable alternative to traditional cable internet, fixed wireless access. This wasn't just a minor addition to their services, it was a strategic move to capture a significant share of the internet market. The technology behind fixed wireless access has evolved rapidly, making it a strong contender in the race for high-speed internet. This technology, utilizing 5G and other advancements, delivers high-speed internet through cellular towers, directly challenging cable's dominance. The speed and reliability of 5G have made it possible for users to enjoy seamless streaming, gaming, and browsing experiences. Unlike traditional cable, which relies on physical lines, 5G can reach areas that were previously underserved or completely unserved by cable providers. The appeal is evident. Fixed wireless internet often requires no lengthy installation processes, bypasses the need for cable lines, and in many cases, offers competitive pricing. 
For many consumers, the convenience of setting up a wireless router without waiting for a technician is a significant advantage. Additionally, the cost savings can be substantial, especially when considering the hidden fees and long-term contracts often associated with cable services. This has made it a compelling option for consumers frustrated with cable's often rigid contracts, hidden fees, and inconsistent customer service. Many have experienced the frustration of dealing with cable companies, from unexpected price hikes to poor customer support. In contrast, fixed wireless internet providers often offer more transparent pricing and better customer service, making them an attractive alternative. The rise of fixed wireless internet is more than just a competitive nuisance for cable companies. It's a paradigm shift. This shift is forcing cable companies to rethink their strategies and innovate to stay relevant. The traditional model of cable internet is being challenged and the industry is at a crossroads. Will they adapt and evolve or will they be left behind as consumers move towards more modern solutions? It represents a fundamental challenge to the very infrastructure upon which cable built its empire. The old physical lines that once symbolized the height of technology are now seen as outdated and cumbersome. In contrast, the sleek modern wireless towers represent the future of connectivity. This stark contrast highlights the need for cable companies to innovate or risk becoming obsolete. As phone companies continue to invest in and expand their wireless networks, the pressure on cable companies to adapt and innovate will only intensify. The race is on to see who can provide the fastest, most reliable internet service. With each new 5G tower that goes up, the competition heats up and consumers stand to benefit from the advancements in technology and service offerings. Do you think wireless internet will eventually replace traditional cable internet? Share your predictions in the comments and take our survey below. Your input is valuable as it helps shape the future of internet services. Whether you're a fan of the new wireless technology or still loyal to your cable provider, your voice matters in this ongoing debate. For years, cable companies operated with a near monopoly in many areas, allowing them to dictate prices with little consequence. They introduced bundled packages, often laden with channels many customers didn't want, and steadily increased prices, confident in their market dominance. This strategy, however, proved to be a costly miscalculation. Consumers have grown increasingly frustrated with cable's opaque pricing practices and the feeling of being held captive to expensive bundles. This frustration, coupled with the emergence of more transparent and flexible alternatives, has chipped away at cable's perceived value. The era of cable's unchecked pricing power is waning. The rise of streaming services, a la carte content options, and the increasing affordability of wireless internet have empowered consumers to take control of their entertainment and connectivity expenses. Cable companies, once accustomed to dictating terms, now find themselves in an unfamiliar position, having to compete on price and value. Have you experienced frustration with cable company pricing? Share your experiences in the comments and take our survey below. The rise of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus has fundamentally reshaped how people consume entertainment. No longer are viewers tethered to rigid schedules or limited choices. This shift has been nothing short of seismic, shaking the very foundations of traditional television. Cable companies are feeling the tremors as they grapple with the reality of a rapidly changing market. The once novel idea of cutting the cord ditching traditional cable TV for internet-based streaming services has gone mainstream. What was once a niche choice is now a common decision for many households. Consumers are embracing the flexibility, variety, and convenience that streaming platforms offer. They can watch their favorite shows and movies anytime, anywhere. The affordability of streaming services is another major draw. With competitive pricing and no long-term contracts, viewers find them a more appealing alternative to cable's bundled packages and escalating costs. Often, the cost of multiple streaming subscriptions still comes out to be less than a traditional cable bill, making the switch even more attractive. This mass exodus from traditional cable TV subscriptions has directly impacted cable companies' bottom lines, leading to significant financial losses. These companies are now forced to confront a shrinking revenue stream and rethink their business models. The